Finally, Apple presents MM1, which is a family of multimodal large language models up to 30 billion parameters that are state of the art in pre training metrics and also perform competitively after fine tuning. In this paper, and the weights are still not available, the researchers have explored the development of high performing multimodal large language models, focusing on the significance of different architectural components and data selection. Through detailed and comprehensive evaluations of the image encoder, the vision language connector and a variety of pre-training data options, they have uncovered several key design insights. For instance, they find that for large-scale multimodal pre-training, a carefully chosen combination of image caption pairs, interleaved image text data, and text-only data is essential for achieving top-of-the-line few-shot performance across several benchmarks, surpassing other pre-training achievements reported in the literature. If you look at this example, then it is evident that this model performs quite nicely in various settings. For example, here you can see that MM1 can perform in-context predictions thanks to its large-scale multimodal pre-training. This allows MM1 in A user to count object and follow custom formatting in the B. It refers to part of the images and, and perform optical character recognition. And then in the C, it demonstrates common sense and word knowledge about everyday object. For example, it was able to see that it was furniture, it's a bed frame, and then it even gave the weight and it's all the numbers. I'm not sure how correct they are, but this is quite interesting. And then as you can see in the D, it has performed basic math functions. All of these images are from the Coco 214 validation set. Now, you can see on the very right, this, uh, if you go through it, it is telling that about refrigerator, it is just a image of refrigerator, nothing else. And it has even given it a weight 200 to 300 pounds from its knowledge base. How cool is that? Amazing stuff. And similarly, if you look in the B1, there's a bus and the destination is Hyde Park. It's not that visible, but this model was able to decipher it. How cool is that? Now, Look at this example. In this example, at the top, user has given the prompt with two images. The first image is, uh, the first image shows two bottles of beer and they're not that visible. You cannot really make out what exactly is the brand, what is the weight and how much is beer is there, but still we can tell it's a beer. In the image two, there is a menu which is not that crystal clear. It is quite hazy. Now, after providing these two images to the model, the question which is being asked is that how much should I pay for all the beer on the table according to the price on the menu? MM1 model correctly answered that the price is 12. Whereas, EMU chat 37 billion calculated the price to be almost $16 or 15.99. Whereas, Lava next 34 billion totally failed and it gave the price of $44. But still, it, um, it is telling that it is not entirely clear which specific beers are on the table. Then when it was asked why, then MM1 not only gave the correct answer, but also its reason is short, crisp and very correct. It is saying that there are two beers on the table and each beer costs 6 according to the price on the menu. So 2 into 6, 12. Easy, crisp, clear, just like humans. Whereas, EMU chat 7 billion has calculated the price to be $54.95 and then it says that it rounded it up to $15 so that doesn't make sense that how could it be uh, like this I mean is that a typo by the researchers or is that a hallucination by the model because if you look at this whole thing it is saying that the price of all the beer on the table is $15.99 because each beer has a price of $10.99 and then there are total five beers on the table. When you multiply number of beers five by 10, then you get 54.95. Then how can it be rounded to 15.99? Okay. So uh, is it all the beer or each beer? So that is quite a wrong and hallucinated answer. Whereas Lava next 34 billion 
says that the image shows a menu with beer prices but it is not entirely clear which specific beer are on the table however i can provide you with an estimate so that's an lava has provided us an estimate now you can see the performance of abib1 in this scenario which really throws it out of the park there are a lot of other great stuff about this model and really seems quite interesting to me for example if you look at this one in order to identify for example what are good choices along each of the axes there is an efficient way to assess the model performance now as training a large ml mlm can take substantial resources they have utilized a simple simplified setup for ablation which is quite interesting so model ablation is primarily a process through which to systematically remove components from a model to understand its impact on the model performance so that is what model model ablation is in generic terms if you look at this diagram model ablation is happening here and it is also showing what visual encoder to use how to feed rich visual data and how to connect the visual representation to the llm on the right hand side it is data abl ablations that type what type of data is there and their mixture and all that stuff other than that they have used different evaluation techniques in terms of um, evaluation of this model like zero shot and few shot and there is a lot of detail around that scattered throughout this paper i will drop the link to this paper in video description so that you can also read along now i believe that this paper is going to be a real big shot in the coming days because mm1 seems to be a suite of multimodal models with up to 30 billion parameters including both dense models and mixture of expert variants these models set new standards in pre-training metrics and exhibit competitive results after supervised fine tuning on various well known multimodal benchmarks. Thanks to extensive pre training, MM1 possesses notable features such as improved in context learning and multimodal reasoning, facilitating few short chain of thought prompts. I also used the terms like dense model and uh, mixture of expert in simple words. Dense models are traditional neural network architectures where every input is processed by all parameters. Whereas mixtures of expert variants are models that route inputs to only a subset of specialized parameters experts based on the input's characteristics. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this MM1 as soon as the weights are released and there is a way to get it installed on the local system and play around with it i will make another video but i think this is going to be a big thing so let me know what your thoughts are if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching